How are you guys doing? It's Pesep here and welcome back to another episode of PES 2015 uh, Formation and Tactics. This one is going to be about Bayern Munich before it was Real Madrid. Now, I don't want to sound like a preacher or a wise guy and you know, I'm giving you tips because I have tested these tactics and formation so it doesn't just come out of my pocket and just bang go online and you know make a video out, out of nowhere so I've tested this formation I have won at least seven or eight out of ten matches and I drew a couple as well uh, I don't play online division a lot because I am hooked on my club anyway let's start with this first thing first as you can see let's go ahead with the tactics uh, team instructions but Bayern Munich always plays position game short pass white Take a look at this model that shows you here guys. Short pass it means you give it to Ribery, pass it back to Lewandowski, pass it back to Schweinsteiger, you know, back to Xavi and then to Robin and then watch for Miller or Lewandowski's run. This is how short pass work. White with Bayern Munich avoid attack and direct to the middle. As you can see Schweinsteiger on the ball, you give it to Ribery and then Alaba overlaps, there you go Miller, bang. You have to have a little plan in your head every time you attack. If your attacking area is white, this is the way how you play. I'm not saying constantly do that, don't be predictable, but your main counters has to be on the flank. Hold the ball with Schweinsteiger, give a ball to, and then give it to Ribery, hold the ball with Ribery, wait for Alaba to overlap. If you wanna do overlap manually, do a bone two or pass and move with Alaba or Ribery as well. But this is how it works attacking on the flex. Uh, positioning I prefer flexible, I don't want to be predictable. Support range I prefer 4, you can even make it 3, players will stay very close to you. I normally, if I'm playing against Real Madrid, which is most likely when you play division, I prefer uh, 4, even 5, because Real Madrid's pressure is unbelievably overpowered. Anyway, numbers in attack I prefer many, if you're not good, change it to few or even medium. Defensive tactics. I prefer frontline pressure because I want to pressure upfield. If I use all out defense, my defensive line will be deep and I will get hammered back in my own half against uh, good dribblers. However, uh, the defense recovery is good in uh, PES, so you don't need that. Plus, you can drop your defensive line. Uh, you can pull your defensive line or you can push up manually in the game. So I prefer frontline pressure. Containment area. This is the one I'm still kind of struggling with, but uh, I'm using white for now. Uh, pressure and I prefer conservative so when I lose the ball I don't want my players my AI team who are not under my control I don't want them to barge forward and pressure in the opponent so I prefer conservative if I want to pressure I can press up my defensive line or I can uh, hit square twice you know uh, in numbers pressuring with my t uh, AI uh, AI teammate. This is the way you defend guys if you don't know you select a player whether it's your defensive midfielder or your center back and you press and hold square to send your AI teammate, the players who are not under control, to pressure the opponent on the ball. Only go for a player when he reaches uh, your half around your box, just a couple of uh, yards around your box. Defensive line, I will go with four. However, if you're facing an opponent who does long balls, you can even make it to one, but I normally use four. Uh, compactness, it just depends. This is a tricky one, guys. As I, as I said, guys, I'm giving you these tips, add your own knowledge to it. If you're losing, do not blame me because there are so many factors. Uh, nobody, you can't play like me, I can't play like you. You know, some people likes a crossing game, but the tactics for it is wrong. Some people use other players, so it may vary. So I would advise you to add your own knowledge into what I'm giving you here. Compactness, okay. Most people, when I uh, meet up online, they play a diamond with Real Madrid. So if I'm facing that, I will make this as narrow as possible. However, if I'm fa facing Real Madrid who plays with um, two wingers, I would go maybe half like this. But if you are facing an opponent with the formation who plays very narrow, set as high as possible so it will be very compact. For now, I'd rather use um, 7. Numbers and defense, as I said, if you're not good at defending, uh, make it too many. If not, medium is the way to go. So these were our uh, tactics let's go for the formation guys okay now as you can see these are my lineup um, Alonso DMF Schweinsteiger uh, center midfielder everybody as you can see you can position them the way that it looks 
Um, you can put Muller right beside them, it just depends on a personal uh, preference to be honest. Right, uh, now as you can see our fluid formation is on. So, at kickoff, your opponent, this is how he sees your lineup. As soon as I am on the ball, my opponent, uh, sorry, uh, as soon as I'm on the ball, this is what my formation looks like. Super duper offensive. Now, what does that look like? When you are on the ball, especially when you're a hot team, look at this little triangle here between Schweinsteiger, Ribery, Alaba, and then Chavi, Lamb, and Robin. You're on the ball with Chavi. Give it to Lamb. Do a 1 2 with Lamb. Lamb goes ahead as a decoy, pass it to Robin, or other way around. You can give it to Robin, do a 1 2. Robin goes into the box, Lamb will overlap. As I said, because your tactic is white, this is, has to be your little plan in your head. You're on the ball with Schweinsteiger, give it to Ribery, cut in, hold the ball, wait for Alaba to overlap, and then bang in. This is the plan, guys. Because Bayern Munich. I've tried uh, attacking area center, it didn't work. So your attacking area is white. You have to take advantage of these triangles. Do not attack directly. Do not attack directly. I'm not saying constantly go to the flank, but this is your main countering plan. However, sometimes you can do a passing move with Miller, let Ribery cut in, or you can give it to Lewandowski, hold the ball because he's strong, let Robin cut in. So this is, this work out this triangle, Robin, Lewandowski, Chavi, Schweinsteiger, Muller, Ribery, you know, work out these triangles, have a little plan in your head, do not rush it, keep the ball. When you are confident on the ball, your opponent will get intimidated, I will guarantee you. But if you are constantly making passing mistakes, you know, you, you'll, you'll get messed up. Anyway, this is when you are in a position. When we lose the ball, this is how our formation was shapes up. Now, you don't need to change anything. This is how you start. We'll get to the, to the defensive one as well. When you lose the ball, this is what it looks like. Make sure to custom it like this. This is a little bit like a default, but I've changed Lewandowski with uh, Robin up front. Let's just, um, yeah, so that's Robin up front, just so you know. Why is it shaped like that? Because when I lose the ball, I want to be as compact as possible. As soon as I win the ball, clean through ball to Robin, counter. Take advantage of Robin. I'm not telling you to spam Robin or abuse him, but this is the best way because you're going to be facing Real Madrid and it's going to be so hard, most likely. Okay, so this is what it looks like, guys. You can pause this video and shape it up as it looks like. At kickoff, this is what it looks like when we are in position. This is what it looks like. I explained everything. When we lose the ball, this is what it looks like. Now, in the game, let's say if you are winning 2-0, it's minute 60. Then you can flick your... Um, D-pad during the game and switch to your defensive tactic. You're winning 2 0, you want to get comfortable. Your defensive tactic, custom your defensive tactic as you can see it here. This is our defensive tactic. If you are winning with two goals, minute 60, flick your um, D pad and switch to this to your defensive tactics. As you can see with the defensive one at kickoff, this is what it looks like. As you can see, Robin is a winner. We counter with Robin. When we are in position, this is what it looks like. It is defensive, but it's defensive um, by formation-wise, not tactically. So you can, I'm switching players around. So if somebody marks Robin, if your opponent marks Robin, he's going to be messed up because Robin is on the left, in the middle, up top. Uh, so yeah, in position, this is our defensive one, not to get confused. At kickoff, this is what it looks like. Uh, when you are in position, by the way, those three at kickoff in position and out of position, the computer will switch to that according to the game um, situation. If you have the ball, if you don't, you don't need to change anything. All you need to do, uh, flick your D-pad and switch to the defensive one. When you are in, when you are um, at kickoff, this is what your formation looks like. When you are having the ball in position, the AI, the computer, automatically switches you to this formation. As you can see, uh, this is the way to play. And when you are out of position, this is the most defensive one that I've ever tried. Um, you simply counter with Robin. That's it. Robin has to be your main man. Make sure you don't abuse Robin with the running because his stamina is not that great. So always make sure that you don't give the ball to Robin in the mid pitch. Start your attack with Miller. Give the ball to Robin midway line, clean through ball. Work out this. Um, just work out this triangle here, guys. That's what you need to do. You just have to work out the triangle between Müller, Lewandowski, and Robin. So this is our defensive one. 
and the custom one obviously the one that I showed you that we start with it that's what it looks like so hope you guys enjoy the video that's pretty much um, is about it guys um, just make sure to custom um, your tactics like that to start customizing your tactic make sure you put a lineup as these guys here uh, I put Godze he's my super sub I put him on at minute 60 instead of Muller or Robin or even sometimes Pizarro take advantage of your three subs it's really really effective you have a choice you either start with Muller or Godze because both of them has a super sub card so to start customizing this once you put these lineups on uh, go to your turn your fluid formation on and then go to your defensive Then change the formations as it looks like here. This is in kickoff and then we have in position and then we have out of position and then cut do your custom one as well uh, This is again at kickoff This is when in position and this is out of position Hope you guys this is not getting very confused I don't use fluid formation that much. If we if we use if you turn off fluid formation, uh, it's gonna make everything uh, very very simple. This is basically what it looks like. You have one formation to go, and um, if you change your formation, it doesn't give you the option when you are in position and out of position. This is just what it looks like. So I've tried without fluid formation; it wasn't that effective. But just don't get messed up with tactics a lot, guys. Remember. 60% is how good are you 40% is your tactics because of course tactics are important because you can't control 11 players in a pitch You can show one player and the rest of them is your AI. So you have to put a, a great Tactical links for the AI to decide how to move your player when in defense and attacking. That's why tactics are important guys So as I said guys make sure to custom these uh, the way that I showed you if you have any questions uh, just make sure to comment down below or join my live streams at Wednesday. I start from uh, 2 in the afternoon or Friday at Saturday. I start at 11 p.m. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumb up. Make sure to subscribe for my future videos. And check out my other videos as well. I have my Facebook page, uh, Twitter, Twitch. Is all, all the links are in the description, guys. I know this may sound complicated, but as I said, if I'm talking too fast or if you don't understand certain things, um, just ask me straight away. Um, most of you, some of you may be a beginner, that's why I needed this tactic, so any problems, just ask away guys. Anyway, Bimpe Sep, until next time, ciao for now.